Hello, I am Refrigerator, the energy efficient household appliance that eats people, but mostly just interviews them on this cable access talk show called The Milk Show. Well, my name is Annie. Uh, I work on The Milk Show. I'm the director and associate producer. The way I often describe The Milk Show to people that are unfamiliar is I'll kind of say it's a guar-like version of Triumph Insult Comic Dog. Um, well, I'll say it's refrigerator, the energy efficient household appliance that hates people but sometimes interviews them. It's another thing I'll, I'll throw out there. The idea for The Milk Show is definitely Ben Cruz's brainchild. This is a CD box holds about 30 CDs and I was like, that's about the shape of a refrigerator. I just took white duct tape and wrapped it up and you know, drew a face on it with marker and um, started making these little videos on my phone. It just kind of spiraled into this. Like we were just bored one, one winter day, sitting on the couch watching TV and it's just like, let's just go SB and then check it out. I started giving it a personality, making it sort of like an evil little, you know, smart mouth character that like is angry all the time but but sort of sort of smart sort of intelligent and everything is beneath it you know and he's just you know ridiculing the world and what he sees and then i'm like well kermit the frog has felt so we went out and got some felt and glue and i think having a puppet ask the questions or talk to people um tends to be a little more engaging or helps people to open up helps people to say things that they might not normally say to another person. Um, sometimes we'll walk into a public place, like at a, at a rock show or into a restaurant or bar, and we'll play around with the puppet and uh, people will look and they'll, you know, they'll laugh, they'll, they'll get involved, they'll come up and ask what we're doing. And We've identified who we want to be in the show. I contact them and set up uh, a meeting just to meet with them here at SBNN and we'll just talk about their artwork and how they want to present themselves on the show. Obviously we're going to interview them but we want to do something else, some type of skit, something else that's a little silly or not. Um, so we kind of brainstorm with that person before to see what kind of mark they want to leave on, on the episode. We want them to have their own spin on what we're doing. Let's not just go in with a template and plug a different band in each episode. Let's, let's, let's learn, let's play around with things, let's try different ideas, let's try their ideas, let's give them uh, more of a platform to, to have input on how this looks. It's, it, it's about music, but it's also about the people that make that music or try to make that music or book shows or do the artwork or do, you know, there's like a community of creative people. And I've, uh, I don't know, I've really found a family in that over the years. Going back and interviewing those bands and those people that we're friends with, or maybe highlighting a little bit about what's going on here in the Twin Cities is uh, one of the goals for doing this. Everyone supports each other. So it's, it's a lot of a, you know, a DIY scene. So you want a TV show, you make it yourself. If you want to be on one, you know, you ask your friend. And so, you know, it's just everyone's kind of helping each other out, making art and doing what we can to showcase what we have. Being behind the camera or doing anything behind the scenes has been something that's very interesting to me for a long time, but I never really knew how to get involved or um, even where to turn to. Um, so once I found out that you could be a member here and you have just abundant resources for little to nothing, like, that's, it's pretty amazing. So um, I've been trying to, to stay open to any opportunity I have that gets thrown at me if I can be a part of it. So, and I like that at SBN, it is very diverse. There's lots of different types of opportunities between serious shows, you know, to parades, to our show. Um, it's, it's really neat, it's really fun. I took some classes here that learned out like how to use different cameras, different lighting setups, different audio setups. Talked about storytelling, how, you know, like how to get good shots, how to do. And if you watch the milk show, you're like, yeah, they didn't pay attention in class. <laughs> but <laughs> but SPNN um, also has a wonderful uh, community of, of creative minds. Just cool to know that at the end of the day you make something and you can put it on TV. 
having grown up and watched TV all my life, you know, now I can be a part of, of making that. And that's kind of cool. And, and, you know, I thank SPNN for that.